a disabled man was being discriminated for being disabled. Now, watching this video is very heart-wrenching, especially for a person who is a dog owner myself. I have four dogs in my house. I have a home dog. I have, a, I have three outside dogs. And they're all treated equally the same. But me watching this video as a dog owner, like I said, it's pretty heart-wrenching and just so derogatory for someone to be separated from their own pet. It's just very saddening for me. So this story starts out with a man walking inside of a Milton's Grillin' Bar where he walks inside with his own service dog, and yet alone, there seems to be no one but probably two fucking morons trying to kick this poor guy out, and two staff members in the back of the video. And yes, I am also implying there's no customers to buy their shitty customer service and buy their god-awful food. So, there's no peace being disturbed, right? But no, they had the fucking audacity to kick out this poor man for having a service dog in with him alone. Which, kicking out someone for having a service dog is considered illegal in Canada. Uh, however, in Canada, they have a weird law where the service dog must have a certificate. And in order to obtain that certificate, they have to go graduate from a dog school. In which the people running the store were refusing to even take a glimpse of it. Like, I'll show you right now. Get the fuck out! Just get, get the out. fuck out! Get out, man! I have her license! Get out! Shit. Shit. We asked you. No. Come on, man. Let's take this outside. No, I'm not doing that. Why did you want to see it? No, I, I have her license. I have her license. You know, what pisses me off more than anything is the fact that the people who own this stupid fucking store are refusing basically, you know, his own disability. Like, fuck you. Fuck you and your disability. You could go out and your own dog and fuck yourself. That's basically what these idiots are telling to the poor disabled guy. Uh, there's nothing that I found for, like, you know, evidential stuff, I guess. I don't know how to put it. But I don't see anything from the story of the person who was disabled that anything wrong with the store had any history. I don't think he even had any criminal history to begin with. So, it's really messed up for someone to be refused, uh, basically, service. Uh, just because you have a service dog in hand and it's really messed up and very disturbing what happens in this video You know for this type of story I speak very passionately because I have a cousin myself who was disabled He is in high school He is 17 and basically he has a wheelchair and he can't really move at all for the rest of his life And it's so fucked up if he was in his position right here uh, What is he gonna say? Oh, can I take your wheelchair out of your fucking out of your body? I, I'm gonna refuse service because you have a wheelchair running around like a goddamn moron you know, stuff like that. It's gonna be very messed up, and I, w I wouldn't know how I would react to that. I will probably make, like, a fucking barrage in the whole damn store, because I would be really pissed off. And the most messed up part from this video is that this guy is being pushed around like a fucking ragdoll from Gmod, and it's so messed up that I have to watch through this shit. And so, basically, uh, I guess the guy is screaming, and, you know, you can't really do anything about it when a person who is disabled like him, and, you know, he's on the spectrum of autism, he's like almost high up there and it's really messed up for him to witness shit like this. He's, he's, he's he might get traumatized, you don't know that. You know, he's autistic. What do you expect? Leave me alone! Leave me get off of me! Leave a dog, dog and stay in here. We asked you to leave a hundred times, buddy. I didn't do anything wrong. Jesus Christ. I didn't do anything wrong. I We asked him. We asked him to leave a hundred times. You came up to me out of nowhere, and I just asked you who you were! Fuck you! Get the fuck out! Just get, get the fuck out! Get out, man! I have her license! Get out! I said, we asked you to leave! I'm not letting you go. I've done nothing wrong. Yes, you have! You're fucking disrupting my business! We asked you to leave a hundred times! Fuck off! I haven't done anything, no, anything to... To that. Please, for the love of God, can what do we understand? You are trespassing, buddy. Call the police. No, no, call, I, I will call the police. Call them. Call. But call them in the no, parking lot. Go the fuck outside. No. Just come on, man. Let's take this outside. No, I'm not doing that. Why did you want to see it? You were asked to leave. You said go fuck yourself. Because you, you refused to tell me who you were. What am I supposed to tell you? Yes, you do. You can't. You're just some random customer. You have no authority over me. Oh, man. Fuck. Oh, you're an idiot, man. Fuck oh, you're an idiot. Get the fuck out, man. Get the fuck out. 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 Get
Stop touching him. What they're doing is clearly cruel and just plain out fucking illegal. I, I, w I wouldn't know what to do in this situation. The only person that's a hero is the person holding the camera and that's it. No one else stood up for this guy besides that one woman holding the camera. And I fucking props to you, buddy. You did everything you could, but no one else. Everyone else is scared just to stand up for this dude. It's so baffling to me. Now, I can understand if someone was shooting a gun. I'll fucking run away if Freck won. But there's, there's clearly something going on here. There's clearly a scuffle right here about a certain situation that is clearly illegal. No one's really taking action of it besides this person holding the camera. Fucking props to you, buddy. And it was a lady, by the way, yeah. Calm down, dude. You gotta leave. Leave you alone. Don't you understand? You gotta leave, bro. Buddy, you're trying to. Stop touching him. Leave him alone. You're hurting him. Stop. Stop it. He's Just like leave him alone. Well, we want him out of here. He's got a service dog. You can't kick someone out of having a service dog. Service dog. You have to you serve. No, I do not. No, I do not. Why don't you? No, I do not. I have her license. I just asked you to tell me who the hell you were. So this fucking bottom barrel shit barrel guy, this old hag with fucking white hairs in his balls, was kicking him out for what reason? Now, if this was in court right now, if, it's, if he was prosecuted for for kicking out a guy who was quote unquote trespassing, what's like what was what would be the answer if the as the prosecutor was asking him a question and the lines of why did you kick him out because he was trespassing, and that the prosecutor is gonna ask like why? Then what? what? What what are you gonna say? And then you're gonna be stuck there and the law and the law of basically the Canadian law where you can't kick out a dog, uh, you know, a, a service dog with a person, then shit's gonna backfire on you. you. You can't do shit. Now you have to basically, you know, get sued for money and probably even go to jail for like a misdemeanor for stupid shit like this. You see what I mean? You get kicked out for your illogical fucking brain, like Sometimes you can't go, just just think around your mind. You how can you kick out a guy with a service dog? He's telling you he has a license four or five fucking times, but then you refuse it. That is gonna backfire you in court, one hundred percent. You refused that little paper, that little certificate is gonna change everything in your life. But yeah, I think that's it for the video. This is a really heartbreaking situation. I wouldn't know how to be disabled. This is a, a horrible situation. Especially the way how he got treated. I'm just gonna stop the video for now because uh, I don't want to make the video longer than it is. It's just them fighting and, and scuffling around. And uh, it's just a horrible situation, man. Uh, I wouldn't know how to hold a cane for so long and be disabled, especially having a service dog and being a victim of your own mind. And it's horrible that these people treat this guy like a fucking ragdoll from Gmod. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna upload a little bit on tomorrow and probably... I mean... Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. And so, yeah, I'll see you guys later.